Hey guys, Natural Dre here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another video from my series, Natural Dre Tries, and today I'm going to be attempting or trying a cut crease look. Um, I'll insert pictures or something if you don't know what the makeup term it, term is. But I love how this um this look, how people create those looks with the cut crease. I've been wanting to do it, but I just haven't done it. So um, I already have my eyebrows piled nation on. My eyes are already primed. Um, and the funny thing is, I have this cut crease brush I got from Sigma like a while ago. So it's supposed to help um, it basically cutting the crease, the crease in your eye. So you use this when, well, I'll show you, but um, using, <laughs> using this brush. So let's get started. Okay, the two palettes I'm going to be using are these e.l.f. Bite Size ones. Just to make it easy, I'm going to do like a simple neutral cut crease, nothing too dramatic. So I'm going to go in, I'm trying to think what to use. I'm going to go in with this, I think this is, what is this one? Very Bad. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. They don't have names. So, get my blending brush. And blend away. You want to drag whatever crease color you're using down a little bit. So, that's what I'm doing right here. I think I'm going to try this cut crease with just two colors. Some people use multiple um, colors, but I'm probably just going to do just one. So, now comes the cut the crease part. <laughs> You want to, even though you already primed your eyes, whatever um, primer you use, you want to go in with a concealer to do that, the cut the crease part. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty one and my cut crease brush, or you can use any brush, but um, just because I have this one, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to assume my crease is here, like the crease where in between, one second, I'm going to put some concealer on the brush. And you see how it's rounded? So that's supposed to help with the precision and making a straight line. So hold on one second. I need my mirror for this one. So Wasn't a street, but you get the point. And if you mess up, you can always, you know, go back over with your other color. Then you do the same thing on the other eye. Let that dry down a little bit before you go into, hold on, a little more concealer. Okay, this side went better. I think what helps is just to take the the brush and go like this. That helped a lot. They look about even. I think I put too much concealer the first time.
I think some people set those with powder I've seen. Um, but I don't think I'm going to set mine with powder. I'm going to let this dry down for a moment and then I'll come back in. When you go back in, you kind of want to use a brush that's similar to that cut crease brush. I'm going to use this rounded, uh, oh, this is a Coastal Scents brush. Any brush that has like a rounded edge like this so you can, you don't mess up the crease portion. So I'm going to go on with this color. Come on, focus. I'm going to go on with this color. And you just kind of want to pack the color where you place the concealer. I think I put too much concealer on this one. is like similar okay lesson learned do not put too much concealer on when you do this cut crease part, but you kind of get the concept of this eye looks better. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit, um, but it's all good practicing, learning how to do new makeup tricks so and tips, but I think this eye looks a little bit better. So you basically kind of get the concept of cutting the crease. And you kind of want to go back in with the other color, whatever color you put in your, um, you started out with. <laughs> You just kind of want to clean that up a little bit just to make it look pretty. But I really, this looks really pretty. So, where's my brush at? You can leave it as is, but I'm just going to, especially this side, this got a little messy. Just going to clean up the edge, the edge of the crease here. I wish I had a glitter liner. That would look really pretty if I put a glitter liner on. Some people would do that too. That looks so pretty. So that is the basic concept of cut grease. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and I'll hop back in. Oops. So we are all done. I think this turned out for my first attempt pretty decent. I just had to not use so much concealer. That's number one tip. If you're going to attempt a cut crease or anything, do not use too much concealer when you're doing um, cutting the crease. And just take your time. I think this looks really pretty. Um, you know, my first attempt, I'm going to keep on practicing and trying to perfect um, my craft and perfect this cut crease. But this turned out really pretty. I really love like this neutral look. Um, my wing. <laughs> I love when I get one, you know, one always, they always turn out different. I have my good days and bad days with wing liner. I still need to practice. But other than that, um, yeah, and I'll share everything that I use down below. Um, what's on my lips right now is, I'll share that since that's in front of me, is my Night Moth lip liner and this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And this is in Petal. This is so pretty and it smells like candy. Love this. So that is it for this Natural Jaya Tries. There'll be more coming with hair and makeup tutorials. Let me know down below. Um, if you try to cut crease, cut crease before, any suggestions of videos you would like to see from me. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.